there's nothing worse than pulling out your winter jumper finding pesky little moth holes. So to darn this I need some darning wool, a darning mushroom, a darning needle, this has a kind of slightly rounded point, big eye so I can get a thick thread in. I slot my darning mushroom underneath the hole. The first step is to sew a little ring around this hole and that's going to help me draw it in and stop the hole from stretching as I darn. Um, these are going to be quite crude stitches so it's just as an example. I start with a knot and I just do a little tiny back stitch just to secure that spot there. And now I'm doing very small running stitch going around the outside of the hole just to draw this edge in. Now before I start darning I can use this running stitch to tighten up this hole by drawing it through at the top and that just makes the hole just that little bit smaller so that I don't darn and make it look too stretched and then I just secure where I've essentially gathered up at the top. So straight away you can see that my holes become much smaller and I've secured the area we need to darn. The first stage is to do some vertical darning from top to bottom and then we weave the horizontal threads from side to side. So I start by catching a little bit of the sweater and coming just to the bottom of my ring with a vertical thread. And as I'm pulling my threads, I'm trying not to pull it too tight or I'll make my sweater look really puckered. Then I catch a little bit of sweater and I take my thread vertically across the hole and then I come back in this direction, take my thread vertically and you can see that even though my thread is white, it's still starting to make this hole vanish. If this was a matching thread, this would almost disappear. So once I'm happy that I've filled in enough of the hole with vertical threads, and sometimes I may go back in to a second row from top to bottom, I then come across horizontally and I go under one thread and on top of the next and then under and then on top and then under and catch a bit of the sweater. And from this side, I go in the opposite direction. So where I went under, now I'm going over and then under and then over and then under. So I'm weaving my horizontal thread across this hole. And then I just repeat this, weaving across the vertical threads until I've filled up all of this area. So I've turned this to the wrong side. You can see all of my threads at the back. And then I just do a couple of stitches on the spot and do a final stitch and a loop to create a knot. And now I can cut my tails and that's the sweater all darned and filled in. Now if I'd been stitching this with a thread that coordinated, maybe even one with a little bit of texture, then this hole would be barely noticeable.